First, I woke up this morning and I already caused drama. We had this kick. I, I, I don't know what happened. This is like the most one in like gazillion, million, trillion, gazillion, billion, whatever chance of happening. And it happened to me. <sighs> okay, no laughing. So, my bathroom, I had this, um, see, look, you guys see here, snob. Okay. Better shot at that. You guys see that? It came off. So, when I went to go flush the toilet, I went to open this door and, pa, I hit it, or I don't know how I hit it. This thing flew into the toilet. So, I have no knob. So, now we have a plumber coming on a Saturday, an emergency, and he can't come till 7 tonight. And, 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 and I stuck my hand in there, and it went down. It went down. What the? I thought it would be stuck like sideways or something. It went and I heard it. I looked everywhere. It's not around the toilet tank. I looked everywhere. Right? Right? So that's my morning so far. I messed up one time already. I hope it's not bad now. I hope it's going to be good. I'm going to cross my fingers that it's going to be good. Did you guys see that? That's my grouchy, grouchy, grouchy husband. My grouchy husband. Alright, so I'm going to go start preparing some food. Uh, my foods are all hacks because I'm not like a gourmet chef. I'm making um, stuffing using a stove top stuffing but I'm also using Portuguese sausage bacon some onions and adding some extra chicken broth and um, I'm making sweet bread I broke it up toasted it so I could add it in kind of a mix between stove top and Sam Choi's uh, stuffing I like that made the mashed potato that's just simple with the sour cream um, butter uh, uh, um, salt stuff like that so I got that going our free-range turkey is in the oven. Brian is going to grill the ham. I don't know how. He looked that up online. And I sliced some sweet potatoes. I'm going to bake it. And uh, that's it for now. See you in a bit. Some sweet potato, huh? Yeah, Brian's making some ham out there, smoking it up. Yeah. Ooh, a barbecue ham. Mm -hmm, so here's the ham. And my grapes. I made the pineapple pretty just so it looks a little bit nicer. There's the ham. All my nice flowers from outside. And let's see. Here, Brian's potato salad he makes. It's bacon and olives and all that hunk. And there's my funky sweet bread Portuguese sausage stuffing with stovetop stuffing. Turkey and Brian's green beans. Green beans. Brownie chocolate mochi. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. What you doing? What you doing? Mm. 
I will be at 90 some thousand miles on United. Oh. Short of 1K. Poor baby. I've never made 1K. Oh, poor baby. You've never made 1K? Nope. It was gifted to me once one year, and I believe it was my 10 year anniversary being with United. That's why. Uh. But I've never earned 1K. Oh. I've driven, I've gone 100,000 miles in a year. Right. But it's on different airlines. Right, right, right. Same as this year. I've gone over 100,000 miles. It's on different airlines. Because I've done Delta, I've done Hawaiian, I've done South, what is Southwest, whatever that was. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. Maybe next year. Maybe next year. Okay, so we picked up this pork over at uh, Nijia Market. Look at that, it's pretty nice meat. Yeah, look at that. Pretty good price. It's only uh, 375 dollars which is kind of nice. See, so my mom's gonna cut it now. Yep, that's what we're gonna put on top of the ramen. Cut the skin. Oh, it's already cut, maybe? Okay, cranky, well, let's see. Cranky lady, let's see. Oh no, I did no. himo, yeah. I think that's just a rope design. Mm-hmm. That's pretty. Okay. Yay. I'm not sure which ramen we're gonna try. We bought hmm, I smell barbecue next door. Oh yeah, they're smoking away next door. Mmm, smells good, yeah. They barbecue every Sunday. Yep, look guys, my messy Christmas ornaments. We didn't get a tree yet. Yeah, Brian has to pick up a tree, but today, unfortunately, he went to Virginia. We're back in a week, then he has to go again. Bye-bye to Japan. Wish I could go everywhere with him, but I can't because I have to work. Yep, I have to work. Okay. So, here's the noodles we have. So, here's one of them. Yep. Looks pretty good, huh? Here's the back. And you know, it's made in California, you guys. So I think a lot of this you can get in California. It's a product of Japan, but made in California. Here's the other one that I saw. It looks just so good to me. Which one are we gonna try, Mom? Tochi, which one shall we try? Oh, this is her persimmon farm. Yep. Oh, I got this one at Costco. And she said it's not bad. It, it ripens up fairly well in this container. Yep, look how much she loves her kaki. Look how beautiful. Yeah, which one you want to do, Mom? Mm -hmm. She's so cranky. I don't know which one. Mi omenai kara. I can't read, so which one? I can only read hiragana, guys. I can't read kanji. Yeah? Tonkotsu one. I want the tonkotsu one. That one? Okay. Oh, yeah, it's all written in English, she said, so it's quite easy, but... It's always so much better when someone makes it for me. Right, guys? Isn't it? Everything tastes better when someone else makes it for you. That's why. So I got you going to make it for me. <laughs> okay, we're going to get the water boiling and stuff. Boiling. Two minutes and a half to boil. Okay, so she said I have to put about 500 cc. Is that right? 500 cc's? It's always good to have measuring cups and cups and cc's, don't you think? Yep, just so you don't have to bother looking it up to figure out what the measurement is. Oh, they're going all out with the smoke. Looks like a, a backyard's on fire or something. Oh, oh, poof, 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 poof. Oh, it's smoking out the back. Yep, our grandma, she keeps sneezing. I keep telling her, blow her nose. But she says it's okay. Yeah, I know she's okay, but I'm not. I don't want the germs. You know what I mean, right, guys? When you say, are you okay? That means, are you okay for me okay? Because I don't want to get it okay, right? Okay, so the water's boiling good. Ooh. You okay, mom? Must be dust. Hokori, yeah? Must be dust. Maybe I no smoke. I no smoke, I no but... I think I'm in trouble. Do, do. Do, 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 do. 
Went to City Mail today. They give you these free magazines at the exits. I love this free magazine. Thank you, City Mail. Oh, so lonely. There's no tree. What if I don't get a tree this year? They said there is shortage. Why do I have one flower? Two flower because Chelsea was so sweet. I did build this last night. You want to see it on? It's pretty nice. Watch. I'm not very good with um, holiday stuff, guys. We didn't grow up with big holiday. Okay, grouchy. Hi. Okay. Coming. All right. So she's well done already. Two and a half minutes. Just about two and a half minutes, guys, to boil this. I like these, you know. I know it's like $2 something a pack for these noodles. But they taste better than those cheap uh, four for a dollar kind of stuff. Yeah. Get some decent noodles if you're going to eat noodles. Cute. I found this one. He's alive. Good at kitty. You like that kitty? Mm -hmm. He. He? 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 Oh, that's a nice jump. Ooh, these are cool. Son, what are you barking at? Come on, what are you barking at? Huh? Ain't not bad those lights up there, right? You guys like that? That's pretty good. <sighs> Check out this ugly. It's cute, but you know, I made a mistake because this is not a Christmas music. I think I made a mistake. No wonder it was on sale clearance last year. Nobody bought it because it's a Santa Claus that's dressed like Christmas, but is singing some kind of country song. But the green onions, look at that. Well, it always just makes everything much better, doesn't it? You gotta have green onions, guys. Always have your green onions cut and put in the fridge. My mom even puts them in the freezer. Yep, just so we have some. I personally don't care for in the freezer because it gets kind of mushy, but that's just me. Many, many people do. Ooh, look at that. You guys, it looks like a restaurant. Why don't you try it first? Since you made it, you should get to try it first. Mm -mm. Oh, she so I'm gonna try it guys let's go sit on the table over there since she's kind of not in a good mood so when that happens I must leave right away you know you gotta catch the hint in order to do that to be understanding is one catch the hint early if they're grouchy move on most important is I got my food so, mm, I'm gonna try it. I moved on, but I still hear it. Hear her. I just call her it. I'm sorry, I met her. Yes? Mmm. Delicious. Like a sapari. It's like refreshing the soup. Ooh, okay. So, let's see. I like the noodles. Look, they're kind of thin. Thin. Not thin like somen, but not super thick like ramen. So I don't know what um, kind of noodles this is. This is like from what area? Ha! <laughs> oh, that was hot. Okay, you don't need it at the restaurant. How embarrassing. That was too hot. <laughs> Mm. Mm, I like this. Mm. This was two dollar thirty nine cents in Niji again, you guys. Made in California, it's very refreshing. I like it. Definitely not a cup noodle. The well, next time, you guys, I'm gonna show you guys. Chelsea, my son's girlfriend, bought this thing from uh, the TV. I'm gonna go look for it. It was to make this the noodle cook really fast. So I'm gonna go buy one of those so we can see if it really works. So you can cook in a microwave and not always have to heat it up in a stove, you know, especially late at night. 
Why do you always have to be here on my table, Kumo? This is so good. Mmm. Cucumber. Grandma makes these cucumbers. Mmm. Mm. It's so good because it's like cucumbers from our yard. Mmm. Um, I will admit, one thing I noticed. I'm talking to a camera. One thing I notice is when you grow your own vegetables, it's so much more flavorful. Oh, it's really good. Really, really enjoy this, guys. You know, I did want to tell you guys about, by the way, to give you an update about the toilet thing I had with Brian. So we had to, the toilet, the plumber came that night and everything was fine, okay? But, um, this was, oh you guys, this was the Saturday morning of my Thanksgiving. And that night that a plumber had to come, like 8 o'clock at night, and he told me, oh, oh, the city and county inherited your handle. So everything seemed cool, right? I was all happy, la, la, la. Of course, this is the worst thing could happen. So your toilet could like clog up all of a sudden, like get stuck somewhere, and then your bathtubs or whatever would clog up. Well, that happened the next day, okay? Happened like 8 o'clock at night on a Sunday night. I was over there, um getting ready to go to sleep i went to go take a shower and it was fine and all of a sudden brian went to use the bathroom and then i heard bloop 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 sounded kind of weird i was like oh no it's like i'm brian something sounds funny and then all of a sudden the water starts filling up from the toilet and the sick the, the shower and all of a sudden brian was mad he was so mad at me he started cussing at me because he had to go work the next day he was already mad i guess he was just stressing out because now i got all quiet because then you know you feel bad right because he's like bah, bah, you're not gonna bah, 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 bah. so i got real quiet because he's a drama queen and when people start scolding me or yelling me, i come real quiet and then um i felt really bad of course so the guy came the next day but i went to work and poor thing you know brian stayed home he actually called and well he had to tell his boss he had to stay home it was actually all my fault but he did and um well the guy went outside we have one of those uh things the catcher or whatever the bathroom thing outside and my mom said the plumber came and it was like steve's plumbing or something they're really really good by the way the guy who helped us really 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 great service i will say i was highly impressed in fact i've never really had a bad plumber yet but i mean it's been really good he went out there and you know it's so amazing they got like these cameras now and when the guy came that saturday first the camera in my toilet and that's how he knew it was clear he said it went all the way through but he found it over there you know outside and they said it was pretty quick he got the thing out really fast thank goodness so basically i got lucky okay but the worst got worst part of it guys is brian has been telling me for weeks about i should close the toilet seat before i flush it and i didn't listen the more he said the more i didn't listen you know i'm just hard head sometimes Especially when someone's telling me what to do, the more I don't want to listen, right? You know how it is. So, anyway, in the end, I guess he was right. Now, I do try to close the toilet seat before I flush it. Because um, I've heard so many stories after. I mean, my coworker told me her son put his Spider-Man in the toilet. And my friend said their cell phone went down the toilet. And the plumber was telling me he wasn't that surprised. It's just, it was so amazing that everything caught at the same. The timing was just perfect. The flush... The handle went in just the right angle. It was like the perfect storm. That's basically what happened. So that's how the whole thing worked out. But 
So anyway guys, I guess the thing is close your toilet seats. And sorry to be talking about toilets while we're eating ramen. <laughs> but I always tend to to do things at the most inappropriate times, I guess. It's Sunday here and the work week is coming up. So you know again, don't work so hard, huh? And I feel so much better and the holidays are coming and it's just so stressful. Yeah, trying to get everything together. As you can see my mess here. I didn't really do anything yet. But the tree is Brian's thing, so I'm not supposed to get the trees. Just, I know there's a short inch in Hawaii. So we'll see how that goes. Mm -hmm. And so I will talk to you guys later, okay? All right, you guys have a good week, all of you. Don't shop too much, don't spend too much money. My kids told me Famous Footwear had 50% off today. It was dangerous. I'm just staying away from everything because I can't afford to spend any money, more money. I mean, we put solar. Solar is like, what, um, like almost 40000 but then again, you get all the tax credits. So it comes out to a little less than twenty grand. So it's really worth it because my electricity bill really, really got better. I used alternate energy, alternate energy, and it was really good. But then it was so hot, so we had to get air conditioned in the bedroom because my mom was sick. So that's another thing that costs money. So for now, we're on a um, shopping diet. Well, I am. I don't need any more clothes right now. I have to stop buying so much clothes. Maybe get some stuff for my face. You know, my face could use some work, but not right now. Saving money. Okay, so you guys have some fun. Have some fun, you guys. Go eat something good. Go watch a good movie or, or something. Don't just work. All work, no play makes you no fun. Okay, and take care of your health. It's cold. The winter's here. Those of you in the mainland and in Japan and so forth where it's cold, really, really, really take care of yourself this season, all right? Nobody wants to be down. I mean, I just got better and I really hated the feeling. I'm not good. I'm not a good sick person, all right? So love you guys and um, I will talk to you later, okay? So you guys take care and again, I recommend these instant ramens. It's pretty good. It's cheaper than the $15 ramen at the restaurant, right? Bye guys.